Imagine a city of gold hidden in the depths of the South American jungle. A city where everything shines and sparkles, where the king lives in a palace of gold and gems, where the people worship a goddess of a sacred lake. A city that many have dreamed of, but none have ever seen. A city that is called El Dorado, the lost city of gold. What is El Dorado and where did it come from? How did it capture the imagination and obsession of countless explorers and adventurers? What did they find and what did they lose in their quest for El Dorado? And is there any truth behind the legend or is it just a myth? El Dorado was a legendary city of gold that many explorers and adventurers have searched for in South America. The name means the Golden One in Spanish and refers to a ritual of the Muisca people who lived in the highlands of Colombia. According to one version of the legend, the Muisca chief would cover himself with gold dust and offer gold and jewels to the goddess of Lake Guatavita, a sacred lake in the mountains. Another version of the legend says that El Dorado was a city or kingdom on the shores of Lake Parim or Parima, where the king lived in a palace of gold and gems. The myth of El Dorado was first reported in Europe in the 16th and 17th centuries when Spanish conquistadors arrived in the New World and heard stories about a tribe of natives who had a lot of gold. The Spaniards started calling the golden chief El Dorado and thought that there must be a place of great wealth somewhere in the region. They began to explore the vast and unknown lands of South America, looking for clues and evidence of El Dorado's location. Many Spanish expeditions were launched to find El Dorado, but they all ended in failure, disappointment and death. Some of the most famous Spanish explorers who searched for El Dorado were Francisco Pizarro, Gonzalo Jiménez de Quesada and Sebastián de Belalcázar. They encountered many hardships, such as hostile natives, diseases, hunger, thirst and mutiny. They also found some gold and silver, but not enough to satisfy their greed. They never found El Dorado, but they did conquer and colonize many parts of South America. The legend of El Dorado also attracted some English explorers, such as Sir Walter Raleigh and Percy Fawcett. They also believed that El Dorado was a real place, and they tried to find it using maps, clues and rumors. They also faced many dangers, such as pirates, enemies, jungles and rivers. They also failed to find El Dorado, but they did discover and document many aspects of the South American culture, geography and wildlife. Today, most historians and archaeologists dismiss the existence of El Dorado as a myth, but some still try to find clues or evidence of its possible location. Some scientific and archaeological investigations have been done in Lake Guatavita and other places in South America, but no conclusive proof of El Dorado has been found. El Dorado remains one of the most fascinating and enduring legends in history. El Dorado has fascinated generations of explorers, adventurers and dreamers. It has inspired countless stories, movies and artworks. But despite all the efforts and sacrifices, no one has ever found the legendary city or its treasure. Perhaps El Dorado was never a place, but a symbol of the human desire for wealth, glory and discovery. Or maybe it still exists, hidden somewhere in the vast and mysterious lands of South America, waiting for someone to uncover its secrets. Whatever the truth may be, El Dorado remains one of the most enduring and captivating myths in history. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.